thank you everybody that has been following me and uh, reaching out to me giving me some good vibes that this is a good choice uh, for me and for those that that has been following me and want to be able to you know connect especially uh, my mission is to inspire other people to do the best that they can and that it is possible so in this day i am thankful to the prime creator of all things that i give thanks for this blessing and opportunity that i will use it for the greater good all right welcome my survivors of the journey to this podcast that aims to inspire and motivate that you continue to have joy peace of mind and to your success episode two today's topic would be one of my favorite motivational quotes that I like it gets me really energized it gets me focused on the bigger picture and that is get it get it if it's meant to be now of course that last part of it I just kind of added that in because I like that if it's meant to be then it will be but the get it get it is to get you lumped up you know, you have to feel energized for your purpose, for your, your destiny that's all surrounded by your talent and why you're here and why you should not give up. But in life, we are constantly exposed to things and situations that challenge us. And once we can, once we can overcome that, we can get back on the path um, to your divine um, purpose because everybody has one, no matter what type of um, background you come from or what have you, everybody has a reason to be here. So get it, get it. If it's meant to be, um, then it's yours, no matter what. You just have to be humble. You have to be strategic. You have to be patient and you'll get your destiny. All right, so that's the first topic. The second topic is, is something new that I'm, I'm gonna try out for this season, my first season that uh, I want to try this out, which I'm calling your task to dusk to dawn, advice and strategy. So it would be like a short segment that I will highlight some things that you could do to, to, get, it, to get it started, right? It's kind of touching on this episode uh, topic. So your task to dusk to dawn will be a clear way for you to be able to um, identify right so yes again so providing that necessity uh, to what's needed immediately or things that over time you will get because most of the time when you are on the journey and you really need to you know like you really need a B F and you know F and X and you don't have that and you feel that well I can't build nothing with this I can't you know execute my purpose well what I learned is that you make the list that you know overall what you need as if what you need the materials to build a home but some of those things you can do on the side while you get what you need to get to get it done so you could do maybe you could do uh, I don't know we just talking about the alphabet there just to keep it simple you could do J and K and L that you know doesn't even cost any money it's just something that needs to be done so that's what kept me motivated when I looked at that long list like oh my god how I'm gonna get all this done and so I just continued to do those tasks and it it filled up the hours of me waiting to get what I need to leap forward pretty much you're just preparing yourself but doing the preparation we have doubt so we're gonna kind of talk about that and I want to continue this your task to dust to dawn meaning basically you have a plan from the time the sun rises to you know to it sets of course you have to get your rest but you basically keeping your mind focusing on just like a wheel just keep it going all right so let's just get started now here we are talking about the first topic get it get it if it's meant to be then it's yours no matter what the main point of that that I want to focus on that regarding why you on your journey why you on your path is that sometimes it's not really clear so doubt comes into the main focus and if anybody 
follow me like on my social media I mention this team I always say you got to get a team right and so why I say that is because your opposition that creates in your life is there for a reason they have a team the number one leader is fear fear is the number one captain CEO whatever you want to call it if it's in the business world or it's in your personal life fear is there and he has a team okay and the number one comrade that I had mentioned before is doubt when I talk to people and they say you know well I'm thinking about doing this doing that and then years pass and nothing is happening right and then when you really get to talk to them they basically just doubt their ability and so they don't get it done and in that scenario, we, we start to question uh, our worth and it goes all, you know, deeper and deeper into the valley. But I'm here to encourage you that while you own the journey and when, what you don't see is the most fearful because you don't know where to step. Right. And um, really, from a spiritual sense, you have to have faith and you can call it anything that you want. Um, but at the end of the day, faith describes what you don't see but it will be so you just have to move forward so for example when it's your true purpose there is no path that you can see why is that I think is it's there for several reasons but the main reason is to build your strength your mental your mental strength your mental strength is connected to your spiritual self why would I say that it's because I feel that the mind is the most powerful composite of the physical body as well as the spiritual because it can learn things it can compute things things that which you do not see into reality that's powerful and so with that when i say when it's your true purpose there is not a path for you to initially chart forward instead you have to go within and, and mainly you have to create it, see it in your mind. And that's what I did on the projects that before all of this, like I'm a writer for one, that's my talent, that's my purpose. Part of that, I have created expressions of that, either in film, you know, books. And so when I started the, the project with the writing, at that particular time, there wasn't no on-demand or there wasn't no iPhone or iTunes or none of that so I didn't see none of that so the fear was keen in the sense of trying to convince me I was wasting my time just like over 20 something years ago you're wasting your time da, 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 you, ain't, you know and then when you do you know the research that you could because it was you know <laughs> it's not as fast as getting to the internet and doing a Google search right and so so at that particular time I had to walk by faith or or someone that feels that well I kind of feel this way or I kind of you know believe in this way it's when you don't know let's call it that's when you don't know but inside and your mind is telling you that's it you, you feel good about it you feel uplifted about it when you're doing you know your thing which your thing is basically your purpose because you're good at it and you get a good positive response back so why and how can you move forward you got to look at the clues to make sh to confirm to reinforce on the physical plane we struggle to balance the what we do not see into reality and then your purpose it takes time it's like fine wine why I say that if you read anybody that is famous that made it in the history books they hardly ever just bam overnight hey they was they was a child five years old and you know next thing you know by the time they were seven I'm not saying in the worst case scenario you can probably pull out somebody out the hat but really really made the history books and people are still talking about them today years pass you know so purpose is another way to prove if you're all in it or if you're not 
So when you look for those clues, the patterns in your life, those elements that come out of nowhere and you get this positive burst, even the people that, you know, don't really like you have to say, oh my gosh, you know, this is this awesome. You bring them joy. You bring them, you know, you make their lives somewhat enrichment. Now, some of them might not even, can, you know, thank you for it, but that's no here nor there. The bottom line is that the patterns in your life will keep coming up to show you that's the path right and then even though you might not see it but you take the leap and you go forward to get it done if that's just me to research about it if that means to talk to somebody that have already done it that can you know be your mentor or what have you or maybe just to pick their brain and to find out that you know the details that you need to focus and say i think this is it you know um the path was slow it's almost like a slow light or like the the sun when the sun rises and from dark becomes light, you begin to slowly see that path. That's what I need you to focus on, to visualize when you don't see the path. But once you start getting those patterns of life that I call those clues, eventually the path will become bright. And oh my gosh, when you finally get to the place where you see the path, right? Your muscles is all pulled up. And I mean muscles, meaning your mental muscles, which to me, your mental muscles is just, you know, it's connected to your spirit. Oh my God. It's just no stopping you in the sense that you would still get challenges, but you will be able to punch right back, roll over that, jump over that lake, whatever you got to do, you are able to do it. You're almost like an Olympic, <laughs> uh, an Olympic, uh, you know, athlete because you didn't came so far. And that was another thing for me when I arrived in, you know, in a city that's a little bit more faster than, you know, where I grew up. I mean, I got a lot of punch, a lot of challenges. But over the years, I just kept learning and kept getting back up that now is to the point that I came too far to quit. So when even, as we call some people, you know, that might not be in your best interest or not give you that positive energy, basically negative energy. And um, when they would say, da, 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 you know, you can't do it, and this it is, and this is why, and this is, and I've been here long, and you know, you, you would get those people, okay? It doesn't matter. Why? Because you was here for a reason, and you know what you're good at, and you know the joy that comes with that side of you as well as other people. So when they was telling me all of that, I was like, that's the best you could do? Don't get me wrong, when I first came, <laughs> A much more fast-paced city it really was like wow you know but then I started thinking like wait a minute I started looking back at all what I have been through this long journey and the big courageous choices that I had to make and I said it ain't nobody is gonna tell me that I'm not good enough just because I have to learn it you know from a different angle from what you know the background that I had I'm gonna learn it I'm gonna do the best that I can because I know I got one thing I know my purpose and if I feel that my creator got me here for a reason and and all I have to do is just follow and look for the signs and and connect with people that also want to create it will fall into place it would take time it would take effort it took finances and loss of sleep but whatever I'm gonna do what's necessary it's like a it's like a farmer on, on you know being a farmer you got to nurture that soil and so all right let's take a quick break from season one of surviving your journey toy success podcast Let's return back to the podcast. 
And so anyway, the whole takeaway from this is that the clues in your life, for me, when I was in college at that time, I wanted to be into retail, I wanted to be a retail buyer, I wanted to, you know, travel and all of that. And my professor kept telling me, no, you need to, da da da, you need to, you know, he just kept on, you know, saying that to me. And then again, the next class, I get somebody and they just kept pointing that out to me. And then when someone asked me to do something for him in the sense of, I don't know, some other literary work maybe um you know like research or something like that or maybe i wrote an essay and then my first my first really online job was at ha the harlem renaissance at suite 101 and i never had the um this is a good takeaway for you is just because you haven't done something before don't don't think that you cannot do it you got to just leap into it and for some reason, I'm not sure, I can't remember the reason why I just, maybe I think it, it was by accident. And I was just looking for something to do. And I just can't remember, but I think it was something just, it wasn't something major. I wasn't really thinking about a full career. It was something that I was looking to do, but turned out more bigger than I expected. And it was touching right back onto the patterns of my life with my writing. And so... I saw an ad to apply for the Harlem Renaissance Commonist. And so I applied for it, had no background, and and I was supposed to write an essay. So I started my research and I picked, I'm not sure it was Langston Hughes, but I picked something um, from the Harlem Renaissance and I did an essay on it. And I didn't think I was going to get it. <laughs> she gave me the opportunity. And at that time, you know, when I was going in high school, they really didn't talk about the Harlem Renaissance. They just kind of, you know, they didn't really talk much about it. So I didn't really know anything about it. And that's how I tripped over. And when I got that, that opportunity, I learned about WBD Boys. And anybody that's really been on any one of my projects know how much I love him and his writing. And I just, you know, fell in love with that era. So... Anyhow, that gave me the opportunity to look further into my writing and then someone else saw my column and then that led to another opportunity. So it kind of ricocheted into, you know, all types of different elements. And at that time, I had already written my project that, uh, that deals with Egypt. So it just kind of just falls into place. So when I look back, it was just one step into something that I thought it was just going to be something minor, you know, not really trying to, to get out to, to get this or get that, but just the experience, really. So I did it for the experience. And it just led into something more bigger over time. So the get it, get it, if it's meant to be, that was meant to be for that lady to give me that opportunity to learn about that era, about my history, about African-American history and the other people that contributed that was from a different ethnic group, but also supported the arts community. So at any rate, so that this led to other things. And so what I'm saying to you is that you have to, to think I'm gonna get it in the sense that what I really need and what I know that I can get at this moment and the rest will follow. I'm going to say that again you have to constantly think that you will get it to what you need at the moment from what you have and the rest will follow and your opportunity will arise most often when you don't even think it's a big opportunity you know it's not you know it's just here's something that yeah you could do it's something small always turn into something big especially when it's on your path of purpose and that's why i want to re-emphasize to you if your it's the path of your purpose it's, it's meant to be all right so let's move on to point two when we say if it's meant to be then the journey is not only difficult but worth it yes all the way it is worth it nothing earned shall be obtained or won if you did not work for it I'm going to repeat that nothing earned shall be obtained or won if you did not work for it so you should not cheat to get it or what I learned when I started filming how some people will use your project to leverage their own you don't need to do that that's not on purpose that's being selfish that's thinking about yourself you have to think in a team you know you will get what is what is due to you not by taking it 
away from that that's their destiny so not to cheat to get it to get it fast when fine wine good wine takes what time right all right and you want mental peace because you don't want to create the negativity that comes around in a circle back on you so people that cheat or think they could cheat out of life at the end of the day towards the end is the most miserable at, at, at all of it people that cheat life is the most miserable at the end of all that wrongful living so you have to choose good deeds deeds seeds planted yeah wait for your rainbow of opportunity and you're gonna get it because it's meant to be all right and so another point that i want to stress is if it's meant to be then your talents will shine guess what that's your sign that's it to keep going okay for example another sign is that your purpose is unique watch for the shine by others telling you so that's it that was for me it took a while because you're like really no i don't think i could do it and they're like yeah are you sure like no you know we second guess ourselves all the time by fear mr fear sitting right there just laughing thinking yeah keep thinking that keep thinking that keep wasting time da, 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 da. and then one day you wake up like well maybe i should believe in it and that's when mr Fear get on you know stand up and dispatch doubt like it's nobody business have you ever have you ever realized when you take that leap and you, you're planning everything and and you're so ready to execute it and right before the day is supposed to happen or even the day of something falls through that's doubt come right on in oh this is not gonna work oh this is not gonna work you just gotta keep going and I know the saying is don't look back it's in the past and I think that's true for one element but I think that's looking at it from one angle because sometimes you have to look back to remember where you came from and the ob obstacles that you overcame and that if you believe it or not is a motivator okay the other point if it's meant to be then your challenges and obstacles are like pebbles in the road it it's not permanent it's meant to be there right so without challenges you will not earn your cred or they say street cred <laughs> it is all a good thing on the flip side of it the bad yes it's bad you flip that over you can find some good in it and the number one thing you're gonna find that's good or the bad is that now you no, you have to say it with me. If you're listening to driving or walking to this, you got to say it with me. Now you know. That's a good thing. That's truth. Truth can be painful to swallow because we have this reality of what we wish it to be, but it's not. It is what it is. Truth is the medicine of life. You know, you have to accept it, acceptance. But that's what it is, you see? All right so we're going to get to a commercial break all right just to recap back again on the my motivational quote that i really love to say get it get it if it's meant to be then it's yours no matter what be humble strategic patient and get your destiny for example so you can make a plan that outlines something to get it done either today or very soon you keep it simple keep moving Sometimes our setbacks are only moments of time in our journey to assess where we have been and where we need to be. For example, you might really need something for your project or whatever you're aiming to achieve successfully, but it's not available. Think of an alternative. I did it all the time. When I did my first stage play, oh my gosh, it was that in itself is a story. But nonetheless, there was a lot of times I was you know moving this over here taking this over here come like you know moving this person I mean I, I was constantly you know flipping it to you know to make it work or looking at another alternative of what I could do since I could not do that and you want to think of those alternatives in a way that they're not really changing the overall scheme of things or what you plan initially let's just think of it as um, flavor that you're adding to a dish sometimes you have to substitute the brand name to the 
generic name, but at the end of the day, most of the time, you know, it, it's going to work out. When I say most of the time, maybe you did not get the color or maybe, you know, you didn't get something that you really wanted to look a certain way, but it, it would do for now. You still overall put your best effort in and when it's meant to be, doesn't even matter. <laughs> Anybody that made it to the point where they feel very confident that where they're at, they can go back and look and feel satisfied of the journey. It, it gives the experience a richness to it, a different flavor because you kept with it and you made it work and you will have a funny story to tell that will motivate somebody else. All right, so let's get to some takeaways which is basically overall today episode is for you to be patient in the process to learn, be patient in the process, learn to enjoy the moments while paving your way towards your meant to be. See the process as only the possibilities of opportunities awaiting your involvement to the overall experience. Your choices matter and trust in your life journey's necessity to get you to your meant to be. So now is something new that I want to try, which is your task to dust of dawn. My recommendation for you is to write a short list of no more than three dream goals. What you dream of that you, you think this is your purpose. You think this is, this is the path. Come up with three. If you don't have three, you just have one, go with it. That you wish to come to fruition. The second thing is to write a statement above that short list. And this is what you want to, to write my meant to be shall be at the right season my meant to be shall be at the right season and then the last thing is to read that list with your empowerment to know statement that's what that is my meant to be shall be at the right season it's basically your empowerment to know statement to reinforce you know your destiny the purpose the, the reason that you're here everybody has a talent okay so you want to stay positive on the journey. So that is my recommendation from my Your Task to Dust of Dawn. So a quick summary recap. Today's uh, segment was on get it, get it. If it's meant to be, then it's yours no matter what. Be humble, strategic, patient, and get your destiny. And to see the process, only the possibilities of opportunities. That's critical there because the small things can always lead to big things. And those chance and encounters uh, with people later on can still be a part of your team. And this also, when I say a team, when I'm talking about that on my social media, it's the physical plane and the spiritual plane. And with the spiritual plane, people have different beliefs. So I don't want to shut that out because at the end of the day, you have your own choices that you have to make because everyone have, you know, free choice of will right on the physical plane you need a team that people that will support you and, and positive you need that it's just like a car if you put bad gas in it how long that's gonna last if you put good gas in it you were sore you know you you know you, you would be moving you know everybody's working to their highest capacity it's a complete circle and so that's what i'm saying when i'm saying that and so those opportunities can sprout up because you're around the goodness of humanity and not the opposite of that and don't forget to subscribe to my podcast and share as well my podcast homepage is Nichelle Anderson, the number seven dot podbean dot com. So that's N as in Nicholas, I C H E L Anderson, the number seven dot P O D B E A N dot com. Also, my show is on iTunes. You can download it straight from the iTunes page. Also, you can go to my homepage on Podbean, connect and download iTunes from there as well. Follow me on social media. My official Twitter account is twitter.com forward slash Nichelle Anderson. Facebook, so that's facebook.com forward slash Nichelle Anderson fan page. And also visit my official website, which is nichelleanderson.com. 
that's where you can learn more about the things that I do, my courses that I have, and as well as webinars that, at times that I do. And also you can find out any new updates of projects that, that, I, that I aim to create and produce. But mainly you can find out more information about my courses that I have, my classes, and sometimes future webinars that I do for free. This show notes will be provided for you that will list any information to read up on when you are able to do so and any website links if mentioned in this broadcast. You can as well purchase my Corporate America Surviving Your Journey Choice Success book on Amazon as well as my other book, Mitch Ram, a memoir. It is also available on Amazon.com as well as any other book retailer that you prefer. All right, just to recap, some information on my podcast show, Surviving Your Journey, Choice Success. Regular new broadcasts are Mondays by 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Guest interviews are pre-announced as soon as confirmed. Now, if you want to be a guest speaker on my show, that listeners can gain insight, be motivated and encouraged about your message or product or service that you have that can benefit others, please complete a guest speaker application form. You can locate that on my Podbean um, homepage that houses my um, my my audio podcast. Okay, so that's Nichelle Anderson Seven dot Podbean dot com. Also, if you go to my official website Nichelle Anderson dot com and click on podcast, you will see at the top menu to the right. If you own a PC, if you're on a PC or a Mac, if you own a mobile phone, then of course you have to kind of maneuver a different way to see that menu. But you will see podcast show, and then that way you can see that link that would take you to complete the guest speaker application form. And I do get that and look that over to get a response back that you are approved can take around about 48 to 72 hours, maybe longer depending on when you have submitted it, like on the weekend. Now, if you have any questions to answer during my podcast, you can send it to info at nichelleanderson.com or you can direct message me on Twitter or Facebook. Now, I'm also on Skype. Okay, so my Skype ID is Nichelle.Anderson. Okay, so this concludes my podcast show today. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Please follow me on my social media and subscribe for future podcast airings of my show. My Twitter account is twitter.com forward slash Nichelle Anderson. Again, facebook.com forward slash Nichelle Anderson fan page. And also you can visit my official website, nichelleanderson.com. There are also premium podcast price and provided conveniently online for easy access on Nichelle Anderson 7 podbean.com where it houses all of my podcast episodes you can find that option for premium podcast where you will have access to get more of my content instead of the, the free episodes that I roll out weekly. And also I am planning on releasing short stories. I used to do that as well when I had that opportunity at sweet101.com as the commonest for the Harlem Renaissance. In between my research and my articles, I started like short stories and people seem to enjoy those stories. And also that can tie into my other creative projects that I have going on as well, besides my courses that I have on my website, which is Dawn of New Day and Mole. So I am planning to do short stories from those types of productions and even new ones as well and so I will basically have that type of content specifically for the premium uh, paid uh, podcast okay so I plan on to have specifically for that type of literary creative side of me (laughs) um, content available in the premium paid podcast okay All right, so please visit the show notes as well for each of my podcasts. 
it is located on the home page all right so concluding my podcast today i would like to leave you with my message for you be you that strengthens and inspires your ability to be strong in your journey endeavor it's a good thing towards your mental peace and joy always to your success